glad you are here. Mrs. Stoker seems to think that there is a cat trapped under her hardwood floor that we put down. <laughs> uh, Dad, Dad, relax. I got it. Hello, Mrs. Stoker. This is Royale Watkins. How are you? Uh-huh. You hear the cat meowing, but you don't see her. <laughs> or are your glasses hanging around your neck? Well, good. I want you to put them on and then look down. There she is, huh? <laughs> look at my son running things. You know, you remind me a lot of myself when I was your age. Of course, I was a lot better looking. Well, better looking means Walt Frazier sideburns and a big five-foot afro? Then you can have it, Dad. <laughs> I didn't say I had style. I just said I was better looking. I'll tell you what. When I start my new job in California, mm -hmm. you can be the best-looking Watkins on the East Coast, and I'll be the best-looking Watkins on the West Coast. Royale, show Daddy the apartment yeah, brochure. Daddy, let me show you. His apartment has a gym in it, and it's right on the beach. Oh, look at this flimsy construction. This place is falling apart. Look at the girls around the pool, Dad. It's a great place to live. <laughs> told you not to play ball in my house. Mom, my gym teacher told me to practice. Your teacher said what? Did your teacher raise five kids in this house? It ain't what your teacher says, it's what I say. And as far as I'm concerned, I am your teacher. And I say you can't play ball in the house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't even look at us, OK? Because we are scared of her, too. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. You two are eating here again? I thought the whole idea behind moving out was staying out. Big talk coming from a guy who lives in his mommy and daddy's basement. Oh, I pay rent. After you borrow it from me. <laughs> hey, Dad, Mom's looking for you. You're late. I know. That building inspector said we had to stay there till he was done. The building inspector said what? Well, did the inspector raise five kids in this house? It ain't what the inspector said, it's what I say. <laughs> And as far as I'm concerned, I am the inspector. When I say dinner's at seven, dinner's at seven. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, Mom, you see, I can imitate the words, but the, the loveliness, the pure splendor that is Mom, that's all you. Mm-hmm. Go on now. I got those golf clubs a certain little man asked me to get them. Oh, what? Since when have you been interested in golf? Ever since Tiger Woods signed that $60 million deal. I want a piece of that action. So, Big Shot, how much are you making designing computer games out in California? What? Are you worried your little brother might be making more than you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know I don't care about stuff like that. Besides, I'm an associate partner at a highly successful architectural firm. There's no way you could be making more than me. Then let's just leave it at that. Hey, fine. Come on, man. How much you making? How much you making? Hey, wait, wait. What the hell is this? 
That's your dinner. Uh-uh, no, no. That's dinner, steak and potatoes. This is three hockey pucks and a fistful of crab grass. <laughs> That's the kind of food that's going to keep you from having another heart attack, so that's what you're eating. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, this is fabulous. Yeah, I like this. Oh, my God. It's really juicy. Juicy. It's it's good. 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 No, steak potatoes. <laughs> Hey, wait, can we talk about something else other than food, please? We can talk about Royale Watkins, computer game designer extraordinaire. You're excited, aren't you, baby? Oh, of course, Mom. It seems like Los Angeles has everything. Great weather, earthquakes, <laughs> beaches, brush fire, beautiful women, mudslides, <laughs> a younger brother who will be making more than you. Hey, yo, I can't wait to come visit you, Royale. Look, I'm gonna find Halle Berry's house, right? Camp out in her backyard with a bottle of champagne and some sugar-free chocolate. <laughs> and I can't wait to visit you, Randall. I'll bring you some cigarettes and magazines after they lock you up. Because <laughs> you're crazy. I'm finished. Mom, now can I go play golf? Right, you finished that steak awful quick. Russell? Hmm? <laughs> Dude, I don't even know how this got over here. Oh, Lord. Here come the Grinch who stole construction. Royale, I'd like for you to meet my new intern, Stanley Taylor. Mr. Wilson has been kind enough to allow me to work for his contracting company for college credit. He's letting you work for free. And what college are you going to? Chump you? Is your father in? Uh, no, he's out doing something you might not be familiar with. It's called inspecting his work. Well, I'll have you know I stand behind everything I build. I wouldn't stand in front of it. Funny. <laughs> Listen, I've been your father's competitor for a long time now, and frankly, I'm a little bit worried about him. These bids he's leaving all around town are way too low. He's worried about your family? <laughs> needs to get with the program. We're contractors. We're supposed to do a little bit of work, charge a great big price, and take a long time to do it. Stretch it out. Come on, sir. I need you to rewind the tapes in my car. Ah, uh, fine idea, sir. I know how you hate jumping into the middle of peaches and herb. <laughs> Why don't you bring the young lady in? We're gonna be out on the front porch. Did I come at a bad time? No, no. It's just my family can be a little overwhelming when it comes to someone I'm dating. Have you ever seen those nature specials with, with the pride of lions and, and the poor innocent gazelle? I'm the gazelle. With a side of ranch dressing. <laughs> You're supposed to yell for little man. Sorry, I got a mean slice. <laughs> I'm late for yoga. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to stop by and find out when you're leaving town. Mm, well, a week from Monday, I'm California bound. Well, I hope I'm in your plans between now and then. Of course you are. In fact, why don't you come over later tonight and we can watch a movie or something? Make sure you get something with a little action, not one of those boring chick flicks. Oh, oh, oh. I knew I liked you for a reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did we enjoy our conversation? Royale, Linda Finkelton is looking for one thing. A husband. What you talking about, Oprah? Everybody knows, man. The Finkelton girls will do anything to shake that last name. Monique Finkelton, I heard she married a 98-year-old man with a baboon's heart just so she could shake that last name. She stole your man, huh? I like her. I mean, she's cute. And Royal could do a lot worse. And he has. You remember that bow-legged girl? You know, the one with the really bad breath? <laughs> hey, man, that was my girlfriend. Look, guys, 
You're reading way too much into this. I'm telling you, Royale, I saw it. Clear as day. Book the church and buy the minivan, because I'm ready to start a family. Look in her eyes. Tammy. No, 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 no. You listen to me. You are a fine young man with a good job and a normal last name. Linda Finkelton is out there right now sizing you up for a tux. <laughs> Tammy, leave him alone. Maybe Linda's an exception to the Finkelton rule. Thank you, Mom. Mm -hmm. And can we please change the subject now? I just love that name, Watkins. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. I, I didn't want to park my new car out front, so I parked it in your driveway. Well, that's cool. I mean, as long as you're not blocking my... Is that a minivan? <laughs> yeah, cool, huh? <laughs> yeah, cool. Real nice. Do you mind if I freshen up? No, go ahead. Randall, I need your help. Linda came over to watch a movie, but she's in the bathroom freshening up. Oh, freshening up. I got you. <laughs> Look, man, Tammy was right. This girl wants a husband. I just need a few minutes to let her down easy. I am with you, my brother. Hey, look, if the minivan is still parked in the driveway in 15 minutes, mm. come save me. Get your back, dog. Come on, sit down. Let's get comfortable. Linda, this isn't going to work out. I'm not looking to get married. And you're telling me this because... Ah, it's so obvious. The minivan, your last name, the freshening up. <laughs> My sister warned me you were looking for a husband. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're going to California in a few days. I just came over to watch a movie. Oh. <laughs> so you're not looking to get married. And I'm an idiot, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but a cute idiot. <laughs> Royale, Dad just had a heart attack. Now, Randall, that's not funny. I'm serious, man. Dad just had another heart attack. <laughs> is you're overreacting. Dad's fine. He's not fine, Royale. It's only been 10 days and he's already thinking about going back to work. Oh, and you don't think selling the business to Wilson is going to upset Dad? Why don't we just pump bacon grease straight into his heart? <laughs> baby. The doctor said you should use the All cane. right, all right. Tell me get off my back. I'll use this stupid cane. Hey, Dad. Hey, boy, you better get out of my chair. <laughs> Russell, you want ketchup on your soy burger? Oh, goodness, no. That would ruin the dirt-like flavor of the thing. <laughs> the dirt-like flavor. <laughs> well, gotta go. Hey. hey, man, I thought you said you were going to back me up on this. I'll grow up. Bye, Dad. <laughs> Hey, Dad, there's something really important I need to talk to you about. Go right ahead. The whole family's worried about your health. Oh, well, tell them to stop worrying. I'm just fine. Well, in order for you to continue being fine, we thought you might want to perhaps... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Sell the business. <laughs> Dude, that's a good one. <laughs> Sell the family business. <laughs> You crazy kids. <laughs> crazy kids. You think we crazy? Robert met with Wilson, and he wants to meet tomorrow morning about buying a business. <laughs> You're serious? Well, forget it. That's not even an option. <sighs> Look, Dad, I know this isn't an easy thing to do, but the whole family feels like it's the right thing. What about you? What do you think, Royale? I think losing your business could be the worst thing that would ever happen to you, Dad. At last, finally, somebody who understands. 
But I think losing you could be the worst thing that would ever happen to this family. Roy, well, that was a very sweet thing to say. Well, if I hadn't gone into computers, I was gonna take a job at Hallmark. <laughs> <laughs> Will you just meet with Wilson for me, Dad? Just meet with him, just right? Just meet with him. All Don't right, even bring your ink pen. Right. <laughs> One piping hot soy burger with a side of wheatgrass. <laughs> Why don't you all just shoot me? You okay, Pop? Mm, oh, yeah, just thinking things over, Roy. <laughs> you know, this business means everything to me, but I'm not ready to die till my younger son wins the Masters. <laughs> and so I'm gonna take Wilson's offer. I'm glad to hear that, Dad. You're doing the right thing, Daddy. Oh, Russell. Listen, I've been worried sick ever since I heard about your heart attack. Did you get the kill, boss? I sent you. <laughs> In the papers. Right Wilson. here, oh. right? Check them twice, Ah, oh, the Reed House. I remember this contract. You guys lowballed me on an estimate for a new deck. Uh, did you make any money on this project? Actually, they're still paying. We have them on an installment plan. Installment? Well, you see, that's why you drive a Buick and I drive a Mercedes. <laughs> Too bad it's from the 70s. <laughs> you see, Wilson, there's a lot more to building houses than just making money. You hear that, Stanley? Business isn't about making money. I heard, sir. Come, 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 come. <laughs> now, you see this house? They built this new addition for $5,000. With my business savvy and creative markup, I could have gotten 10. That's quite a profit, sir. Well, look at this house here, Stanley. Watkins Construction built it at cost for Mrs. Green after her husband passed away. Thanks to my father, her kids had a home to grow up in. That's very commendable. Ha, ha, come, 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 come. Look at the roof. They used genuine ceramic shingles when they could have used plastic ones and charged the same amount. They would have melted as soon as it got hot. Well, that's what homeowner's insurance is for. Quite crafty, sir. <laughs> look at this building over here, Stanley. <laughs> This used to be a rundown old factory until one day some kids were playing it and they got hurt. Oh, don't tell me. Your father saved those poor starving children using nothing but a ratchet and a two by four. No, <laughs> but he did convince the city to turn it into the rec center my older brother designed and my father, once again, built at cost. Well, damn, Russell. No wonder you had a heart attack. You carrying the weight of the whole community on his shoulders. Hey, at least he cared about the quality of his work. Well, whoop de do, because I'm going to take that fine rip and add my high prices. And that is a match made in heaven. You know something, Wilson? The more I hear you talk, the more I realize something. What, you were born into the wrong family? No, that we're no longer for sale. What are you doing? I'm doing the right thing, Dad. I'm gonna stay here and I'm taking over the family business. Because there's no way I'm gonna stand by and let a crook like that ruin our good name. Why not? <laughs> but what about California, son? Yeah, Junior, what about California? <laughs> I mean, but I want to do this. What do you say, Dad? I'll run things and we'll make you supervising CEO. Supervising CEO. I like that. <laughs> yeah, that is crazy, Russell. I thought we had a deal. Don't even huh. waste your breath on me. My new boss says the business is not for sale. <laughs> well, fine. Let's go, Stanley. I think it's very nice what you've done for this community. Stanley, let's go. This door's not gonna open by itself. <laughs> hey, Stanley. I was thinking we could use an intern around here. There might even be a small salary involved. <laughs> you interested? Oh, God bless you, sir. <laughs> God bless you. Mr. Wilson? Yeah. I quit. <laughs> Listen up, everybody. There's something I want to say. Now, this has been quite a week. <laughs> Almost lost my life and my business, but thanks to all of you, and especially Royale, 
I can Man. continue to enjoy them both. Amen. No thanks necessary, Dad. However, cash would be nice. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. <laughs> Royale, since you're taking over for your father, mm -hmm. it's his night to do the dishes. No, but I, I got to... Um, Royale, washing dishes, that's much too stressful. <laughs> Are you at least going to be around the office tomorrow in case I have any questions? Gee, sorry. Rice and I have a golf game first thing in the morning. Yeah, we got to break out the drivers and let the big dogs hunt. Can I get some help with these dishes from my loving brothers and sister? Oh, sure. Here you go, bro. Oh, yeah, I know. Okay, all right. You know I want to talk about stacking them up. Hey, little brother. Thank you for staying. Now, I know you're not making more money than me. Royale, I'm real proud of you for helping out your father. Thanks, Ma. I just feel bad about you giving up that wonderful opportunity in California. Ah, uh, there'll be other opportunities. Besides, I'd rather be here with my family than 3,000 miles away worried sick about Dad. Mm. I appreciate that. I just don't want you to regret it. Hi, Royale. Hi, Mrs. Watkins. Hi, Linda. Somehow, Mom, I just don't feel like I'm going to regret it. <laughs> Don't miss Jenny McCarthy in the premiere of Jenny, Sunday on NBC. Some things are difficult to imagine. Jurassic Park, the musical. Mike Tyson, Sportsman of the Year. Fabio, a Nobel Prize winner. The men behaving badly. Wedding? No! Jamie, give me the ring. Yeah, man, this one's gonna happen. <laughs> the Men Behaving Badly season premiere. NBC, Sunday.